All right, I'm going to show you how to export data from Google My Business. This is a really important thing. If you are trying to look at all of your information from Google My Business, first let's go to business.google.com. You'll notice in Insights, uh, it can be really frustrating because you can't really do a custom view. Sure, you can like look at the last month, the last week, the last quarter, but if I want to look at a custom date range, can't really do that. Which, as an agency, I absolutely need to be able to do that because clients might need a specific date range they want to look at. So, very simply, here's all you do. Click there, next to the client or the location. Actions, Insights. Then we're going to click Discovery Insights, hit Next. And I'm going to choose a custom date range. I'm going to go back to January of 2019, the whole month. I'm going to download the report. Now it's going to download it as a CSV, which CSV sure as you know is very difficult to understand but if you upload it to Google Drive or I'm sure you could just import it to Microsoft Excel if that's something you have then it makes it much easier to understand so I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna to choose to open it with Google Sheets Now, here is all of my information for January. Um, let's say, let's let this load a little bit first. Okay, um, so one of the things that's a little bit annoying about this is, is that it, I guess it's not really annoying, it's just the way it is. It uh, <clears throat> goes into a horizontal format, but if I wanna paste it into a vertical, I'm just gonna hit paste special, hit paste transposed. There you go. And same thing with here. I'll do the same exact thing. I'm going to copy it. I'm hitting Command C and then pasting it, but paste special, paste transposed. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bold that. I'm going to call this and then this is going to be January. 2019, and then I'm going to delete these because I don't need it, and then I'm going to add this back in because I want it, <clears throat> and now, you know what, I'm going to unbold that, and I'm going to underline this, and I am on my way to creating a report, um, then I can create a February and then I can repeat the process. Just rinse and repeat, actions, insights, and I'm gonna go for February. So I'm gonna go to February, okay, you get the point. And then what you do, you just repeat that process over and over again and keep adding to this sheet and you'll be able to have, um, I think you can go back 18 months with Google My Business. So it's better if you do it now and have the data uh, than to wish you had it later. Anyway, uh, that is it. That's how you export information from Google My Business. You can do, you could even do one day at a time if you wanted. You might be a crazy person if you do, um, but you could do one day at a time, you could do a year at a time, you could do whatever the custom date range, whatever you feel like doing, that's what you can do. All right, hope this was helpful. Give me some feedback. Thank you, bye.